Wrong one. Attention all indie artists. Do you have music that you think is fire and the world should hear it? Are you harder than Dylon, 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 and Dylon? If at any point you said yes, or even thought about saying yes, stop what you're doing. Unless you're listening to the indie show. And sign up for the indie show's most popular segment, we'll be the judge of that. Like going to DeVry, it's easy. Simply go to theindieshow.co, choose the artist submission tab, and submit your MP3 or YouTube link. Once you fill out all the info, you're in. Like I said, it's easy. You'll be going up against two other worthy challengers, so send us your best. Each week, three artists go head-to-head with their music. The live audience votes for their favorite song in real time. If you win three weeks in a row, you're our next will be the judge of that champion. And your grand prize is your very own episode in full interview. You'll join elite status with our first two champions, Unica Moore and Lethal. You have what it takes to be number one. Sign up at theindieshow.co today and find out. One time for your mind. It's your man Mastermind. Broadcasting live from the world famous Unique Cuts here in Beaufort, Georgia. You see it. You know what it is. So this part of the show, I'll call this uh, one time for your mind. Usually I just say something that's on my mind. And for today, you never know who's watching. You never know who's watching. And I say that because, especially with this show, I never know who is in the chat room or who's watching the show until people start chatting, right? Now, let's put that in real life. Do your best at all times. Be a superstar. Give 150% each and every time you do it because you never know who's watching because it's going to be one day somebody out of the blue is going to say something and it's going to make you like, wait, you've been paying attention to what I'm doing? You've been watching me all this time? Because you know how people are. Sometimes people just be in the cut, watching, working, all up in the comments, not saying anything, secretly enjoying what's going on. That's real life stuff. So don't worry about what he doing, what she doing, what they doing. Focus on what you're doing. Because you might have something serious, you know, like the indie show, all things indie. Feel like I'm working with something. So to all the people that's been watching and secretly giving me thumbs up, I appreciate you. But even more, I appreciate the people that's in the chat room showing me love right now, saying hello, representing each and every week. That's how we get down. One time for your mind. It's your man, Mastermind. Test one. Kick my intro. The indie show, show. indie show, indie show. My main man, Mastermind. The indie show, indeed, the flow's sickening. Masterminded by Mastermind, the plot thickens. Good riddance to other pies, the odds against them. Tuesday at 8 p.m., we back in business. Key is in the building, Jay is in the building. Giving the feeling that most of y'all been missing. All things indie, is it banging or whack? Can't call it, but we'll be the judge of that. And logic came through with the verbal assist. Major League, we envy. Ain't no canceling this. And logic came through with the verbal assist. Major League, we envy. Ain't no canceling this. And I'm gone. And I'm gone. The indie show. It's your man, Mastermind, right here at the world famous Unique Cuts in Buford, Georgia. This is the indie show, all things indie. Holla at your boy. What's happening? That's how we do. That's how we do. I'm feeling good. It's Tuesday. And uh, real quick, I start off this segment. This is Hello Neighbor. Play my intro for Hello Neighbor. And why can I never find this intro? Hello, neighbor. So in Hello Neighbor, I just have to say hello to everybody that's out there. So if you are in, if you are watching right now, go ahead 
and comment. Say hello right now, and I will definitely shout you out. All right? All right, do that. So to start off, I always got to show love to the Platinum listeners, the Platinum viewers. So J. Kells, Platinum viewer. And my man Heath Gunn, Platinum. They hold me down each and every week. I appreciate y'all. And you too could be a Platinum member. You just watch three times in a row, comment, and then show us some love on our YouTube page. It's that easy. It's some uh, perks that comes with that, but you know, you got to be platinum in order to find out what it is. All right. I want to shout yeah, out to uh, my man RJ and the people at Unique Cuts holding us down. This uh, new studio right here is a good look. So uh, broadcasting live, you know, I got to show, show them some love always. And just like I told y'all in the um, Facebook pages and whatnot in the IG pages, we got a new segment. It's called a unique POV with RJ. So my man RJ, you saw everybody fell in love with him last week. Last week's show was bananas. He's back. He gonna drop some gems. You like inspirational vitamins and the same type of stuff that uh, your boy uh, Steve Harvey do at the end of his show. We got something similar, but with an RJ perspective. You know what I'm saying? Also, who else? The Diva. Appreciate you holding me down. I appreciate you. Um, blast from the past, my man, Nile, producer, director. He hit me up. If you're watching the show, send me a shout. And last but not least, my homegirl, Candice Stansel. I uh, hope you are watching. I got a question. You gave me the question. I'm going to ask James. Um, please believe that. And I want to introduce you guys to my crew. First of all, my homegirl that holds me down, my co-host. Representing the West Side and down south in Texas. I got to get that right because she gonna fight me. It's Kia Renee. What's happening? Hey, you, are, you, are. you have you happy I represented for uh California and Texas? Yeah, you got that right. I like that. All right, yeah. Look, you want cousin, my... I wanted to show you. I got your mug. Hey, hey. hey. look. So you got the mug, and I got the sweatshirt. I got the hoodie. That's, that's what's happening. Oh, I got to put this real quick, real quick. Got to shout out my homegirl, Candice. So excited to be here. Always a treat. That's my girl. UGA represent. So real quick, congratulations. Tell the world about you charting in the UK. Oh, my gosh, me? Yes, you. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I have this song called Unbothered. It's Samuel Archer featuring Kia Renee. Yeah, um, yep. And it's on the album Soul Music Vineyard. And for the past week and some change, we have been on the Amazon Hot Sales charts in the UK. Uh, all the, the songs from the album have been top 100, and then the album itself peaked at number 11, so that's really exciting. Shout out to everybody on Soul Music Vineyard, and congratulations to the artist. That is tight. Y'all y'all get the album. Tell them where to get the album. One more time. Oh my gosh. So it is now available on all streaming platforms. I'm really excited about that, because at first it was exclusively available on Bandcamp, yep, and yep. now you can stream it, but a lot of people have been buying it because it's that you know it's that stuff right there it's real nice yeah yeah on bob it is fire so uh real well, wait, i'm not gonna say it real quick so congratulations i'm proud of you flex on them with that cup i see you i see you flex on them yeah and uh the man that's ringing the bell my producer my homie ladies and gentlemen the uh, voice with no face it is uh, JS1, what's happening with you? Yes, I am here. There we go, sir. How are you doing, my friend? I do not have a number one single. However, I am still here. You got to go on vacation, isn't that right? And that is what is important. Alcohol, <laughs> beaches, and nothing. I'm not even taking no cell phone. I'm probably going to leave my cell phone at home. Let's go. Vacation time. Let's go. Hey, uh, get that recharge, all right? Yes, sir. <laughs> What I wanted to do, if y'all already saw at the beginning um, how you can submit to be an artist, all right? Also, I want to tell you guys, if you want to produce, uh, not produce, 
if you want to uh, sponsor the show, sponsor a segment, you can do that. Isn't that right, JS1? Yep, if you want to support us right now, actually, this stuff is outdated. Hold on, let me see what else we got. We got anything new? All right, boom. Yo, we want you to subscribe to the channel. So if you haven't done so, we're on uh, Google Play and Apple Music and, and Spotify and all that podcast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, subscribe now and then go to theindieshow.co right now if you would like to sponsor. We're taking big ads, little ads, shout out ads, video ads, audio ads. Man, like, yo, if you want to drive your car into the video we can do that too you know what i'm saying if you want mastermind to wear your clothes he can make that happen look just hit us up the indie show.co and you can make it happen now whenever he's ready to show the website i can throw the website on the screen and show you exactly how to get that yeah, yeah so, show off uh, the new website so this is the front page i want y'all to go when you go to the page you're going to see that if you keep scrolling you're gonna see uh, last week's episode and all that kind of stuff is gonna be listed. Look at my beautiful face. Keep going, and then um, we have an indie vibes playlist uh, that features our two uh, winners of will be the judge of that. It's uh, and then if you keep scrolling, and we also have the video from our second champion. And at the bottom, I just want them to see at the bottom there is a mix. It's a mixtape made by our official uh dj jay the dj i want y'all to click on that because that thing is fire but scroll back up because i want you to take them to the artist submission page one more time <laughs> click on that, and this is how you submit to be on the show we're always accepting music all right always accepting music once we get you in the system we'll let you know what day you're going to be on all right so that's just it. So everyone loves we'll be the judge of that. And that's that. Thank you so much for showing that. I also want to let you guys know in the month of May is going to be fire. Remember how it was in March? Well, we got another fire in month. All right. So on the third, we're going to have my homie from uh, Aliceville, Alabama, Tony Wilder on May 10th. We have publicist Miriam Graham. She has a lot of artists under, uh, I'm about to say label, and she represents a lot of musical artists. Um, Uncle Charlie is uh, one of those people. All right, our second will be the judge of that champion, Lethal, is gonna be on May 17th, all right? May 24th, we're doing another movie. My homegirl, Gigi, She's going to be in the building with the producer and the writer of a film that's coming out. So be ready for that one. And last but not least, Wonder on May 31st is going to be in the building. Yeah, don't get too don't get so excited now. Wait a minute. How did he become a guest on the show? What, what? Wonder is going to be on the 31st. Please understand. Somebody gave me a like. I appreciate that. Keep them likes coming. I appreciate you. And don't forget to keep coming. I want to shout you guys out. All right, that's it. I think we paid all the bills. And let's get this show started, shall we? Previously on. Let's go. Previously on Ready to Die. <laughs> so last week was bananas. You know what? I'm going to do something real quick. Hey. Um, introduce my man real quick. Uh, he was here last week. He's sitting in really quick. I'm bringing him in because everybody was talking about this show. Put your hands together for my man, RJ. What up? What up, man? Hey. What's up, everybody? Hey, RJ. What's up? What's up? Hi, how are you? I'm good. So how are you, this, sir? This is the part of the show where we just recap what happened last week. Yeah, right? yeah. From you. What did you think about last week's show? What kind of feedback have you gotten? I like it, man. It was it was informative, inspirational. It kind of spread across everything, man. I like it. It was like a, um, just getting to know everybody. It was my first time really sitting down doing something like that. Yeah. So it, it was live, man. <laughs> like all the games. It was dope. Yeah, see? Told you. He said it was dope. I trust this man. Yeah. Kill, what about you? What what you think? 
RJ smash those games. And the game, <laughs> you no, know, Mastermind has this thing that he does, and it, you know, it's such a niche of yours. You're really good at catering the games to your guests. Yeah, and yeah. I love that. That's yeah. so fun for everyone. You know, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, he did that. It was funny. Yeah. I, it, it, oh, dude, when you was, uh, I went home and told my wife, uh, you had your knees in your chest and you just started laughing when you was laying back. I don't know what it was. Something tickled you. And you was just like, oh, I was just like, yeah, I got it. Yeah. I think we was talking about Shamar more in the oh. <laughs> And RJ, thank yeah. you so much for sharing your story with us. Yeah. You yeah, were exactly. so transparent, and it is very important that yeah. everybody knows that just because we have hiccups in life, it does not mean you can't be successful. So Absolutely. shout out to your success. I love you for that. Thank you, hon. Thank you. Man. Mm. I like it when the people are in the building so we can do these recaps. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's a whole different feel. And again, thank you for the hospitality. Yeah. The people, they love to look, man. One of the, uh, this is what kind of feedback I was getting. One, they love the set, the yeah. where we are. They just yeah. love this place. Yeah. Two, they love the haircut that I got from you. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Touch up, though. I yeah. got to get you right. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. And then three, they were spilling that uh, ATL whole uh, sweatshirt <laughs> that I had on with the Waffle House letters. You know, today I'm rocking the Outcast. Understand that. I see you. Yeah. So, you know, that's my group. Oh, I got another heart and a like. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all keep tuning in. Tell a, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come on in. All right. And spread the word. All right. So we're going to be talking to you mm -hmm. a little bit later in the show oh, for your uh, unique point of view. You like that, right? Absolutely. I had to put that unique in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That look good. Up yeah, yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Like, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> so, um, JS, do you have anything you want to contribute to this section before we move on? Oh, no, I just love the fact that we did numbers. Hey, man, I love I love the numbers, and you know what I'm saying I love the people tapped in and commented and showed love. So like, man, I'm I'm shoot, I'm overjoyed. Dude, I woke up with some crazy numbers. I was just like, hey, okay, then that's what's up. All right, so uh, it is time to introduce our guest, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? If I was truly prepared, I would have been looking at his IMDb page. But before I do that, I want to introduce someone you already uh, have been introduced to, my friend and yours, comedian. He's gone. What's happening? What's happening, man? Good to be back in the hails. Yes, sir, How y'all yes, doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so if Heath is here, you know it's gonna be bananas, right? Bananas. It's gonna be bananas. Yeah, you know, you you it, so you know I'm just waiting on you to say something crazy. Right. <laughs> I can't say I did enjoy last week. My boy RJ killed it. He touched my heart, brother. Sharing you, brother. things, man. It was just it was an inspiring show. Just hearing your whole story, and it was just you, you blew me away. The whole show blew me away. It was, it was a Thank nice you, vibe. Man. So I'm looking forward to today Thank as well. You. I told you, as you can see, this is a live set. People come here to get the fresh cuts, and they're still getting them cut. So understand, uh, it's all good. You're not hearing things, all right? So right, right. But everybody has been talking about it, and everybody's in love with this man. This dude is an actor. From what I remember, he went to uh, USC for a theater, for a degree in theater. Then he went uh over the seas to uh to europe <laughs> to do some more studying so he's a for real actor and you may know him from the nbc series las vegas i know him because i'm a fan from the series uh for your love and he's done a host of other things before then but right now if you have hbo and hbo max you can catch this man playing Dr. J, a.k.a. Julius Irvin, in the series Winning Time. Uh, what was that? Uh, Los Angeles Lakers Dynasty? Yes, sir. Put your hands together for my new friend and yours, James LeSure. Hey, I can't hear y'all. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Hey. Hey. I hear yeah. Dr. J, <laughs> <laughs> How you living, brother? 
Man, I'm here. I'm here. I'm happy to be with you all. Thanks for having me. Man, thanks for being with us. You know, um, I'm about to put somebody on the spot right now uh, because I like doing that. Um, she's in the chat room right now. So I hope Candace is paying attention. She says she is a huge fan of yours and she was very happy that you were going to be on the show. She said she met you. Look, I'm a I'm a find the information because I don't want to misquote <laughs> anyone. But yes, what did she say? She said that uh, do, 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 do. she met you uh, a few years ago and just appreciated your kindness and thoughtful engagement. All right. Oh wow, she caught me on a good day. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, <laughs> and she said she's in the chat. Yes, she says. And I still think he's amazing. Oh, I'll take that too. Thank Hashtag you, brewing love. Oh, hold on now. Hold, hold on. Uh, hold on. <laughs> somebody, you told her I graduated from USC. Right, you know, I'm just going to show love to higher education. It's all good. It's all good. It's, it's all good. So since I put her on blast, she had a, a few questions, but I want to ask. I wanted to ask the most embarrassing one. All right. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. She wanted to know, I'm going to just quote this. <clears throat> and is he dating? Open to meeting someone? LOL. I kid. I kid. Uh, parentheses. Uh, but send that man my picture. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Candace. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's the second time I was asked that today. I'm going to plead the fifth again, but I keep my personal stuff private. Okay. I'm going to continue to do so. But thank you, Candace. For your ah, time. now she's going to be crazy. Now you said her name on TV. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah. All right. So, first part of the show, this, oh, my man Jay Kells is in the building. And he said, hey, this is one of, my, one of our number one uh, viewers. This dude said, damn dude, ain't aged a bit. Look the same from For Your Love. You watched it too? My man. <laughs> Y'all must That's have been like four or five at the time. Look at you, Mastermind. <laughs> are you 28? I mean, what are you talking dude. about, dude? Hey, uh, I need TV One or somebody to put it in repeat for something. You know what I'm saying? Hit that residual yeah, that's check. Yeah, good thing. Yeah, yeah. All I, right. I'd like to watch those episodes again myself. See, we all in the same boat. All right, sir. Since you are here, we're going to start with our first segment. Our first segment is called Elevator Pitch. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> so, in elevator pitch, you have a certain amount of time to pitch yourself. I always tell my guests, I'm just like, you know, do a good job. If you pass this, we can continue on with the rest. But if you're boring, might as well stop now. But okay. your time is determined by this die. I'm going to roll it. Whatever the number is, we're going to multiply by 10 seconds. All right? Okay. So just so you know, one of our last season, we had a guest who got a one. So she got it in 10 seconds and rocked it. So okay. no pressure. All right? No pressure. So yep, yeah. our, our I can get on that elevator and one time. One. Let's go. Our oh, we rolled a six. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Three. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my man, that's not bad. You have 30 seconds to pitch yourself a weight. We have a counter. So when you see the counter uh, appear on the screen, I want you to do your thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, okay. this is uh, elevator pitch. My man has 30 seconds. We're just waiting on the timer to get set. Can he do it? Want me to take it back? Yeah, hey, I'll take it back. Yeah, All right. Go. No. Okay. Go. 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 Now. Come oh, he's on, waiting man. it out. That's genius. He's just going to wait it out. I love it. Lindy, ah. Yeah. There you go. All right. You know what? Let's just put this on pause. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just put no, it on pause. Oh, man. Technical difference. See, that's that West Coast internet. What's going on? Mm. <laughs> that's deep. We said West Coast internet. 
<laughs> okay, so while we're waiting on my man, uh, I just to let the people know, my man, he's gun, right? Mm -hmm. He's gun worked with James on the series Las Vegas. Yeah. Heath was a stand-in for James. So you see their favor, right? Right. <laughs> well, when I, 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 did, I did have to shave my head, believe it or not, to get the job. Get the job. So I used to rock the baldy. Uh, James got his covered up right now, so you can't see any evidence of the ball. I'm <laughs> back. Used to rock you the ball me? head. Yeah, you're back. Oh, yeah. Good. All right. Are you ready? We're going to give you 30 seconds. Yeah, man. I don't know what happened to that elevator. Did it crash? Or what, what happened? <laughs> I don't oh, know. No. It, it ain't, ain't crashed. Crash, it? What's going on? <laughs> All right. I can't be stuck on an elevator, players. Come on. All right, go. <laughs> All right, ready, set, go. All right, first and foremost, uh, I'm a friend of Heat, uh, Heat Gun over there. He's the young king that brought me on this show, so I'm happy to be here. My name is James. I'm from L.A. Uh, what I, else I got to say? Uh, we'll go freestyle off the dome. You know, I'm doing this from home. Uh, what else I got to say? I'm in power every day. I'm freshly showered. Uh, what else I got to say? A uh, rap is my name, uh, but on my birth certificate, they call me James. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> our our first freestyle, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Are we gonna replay that one? I don't know. We're not gonna put no beat behind it, but hey, we got our first freestyle. <laughs> broke the mold. Broke the mold. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. An elevator fell again because you sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Sideways and silent. <laughs> oh yeah, we gonna have a good time today, ladies and gentlemen. And he muted himself. He don't even know that we can't hear him. Turn your head to the side like that so we can straighten your things out. <laughs> but we all just turn our head to match James. <laughs> oh look, man. That's that uh, West. So what kind of internet y'all got in California? Um, like because you got that orientating iPad. Shot. I know what it is. Shot. The iPad keep reorientating on it. No. <laughs> you got to lock that screen, Jane. The iPad keep reorientating <laughs> on you. <laughs> we can't hear you again. Is this in honor of the silent movie that with the deaf people? You just don't keep <laughs> going stupid. that route. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Throw up some signs, <laughs> not them West Coast LA gang signs, but some signs. What's your issue with the West Coast? What's the problem? Hey, you like the West just, Coast, say that. I should have just brought them to the crib, and we should have did this side by side, like side by side. That's what oh, I thought were. Y'all gonna have something to talk about now. <laughs> yeah. So when he come back, I'm gonna get him for a uh, new phone. Who this? <laughs> well, we got to do it fast before we start turning over again. Right, right. Hey, new phone, new iPad. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yay. All right, sorry about that. That's Yo, he was right. I am on an iPad. <laughs> lock that screen. I, don't, I couldn't tell you how to. Where? What do you lock it at? <laughs> Hell if I know. I'm not an uh, uh, iPhone or iPad person. Yeah. We just going to work it out as lucky. is. We'll stay straight. We'll stay straight okay. right here. So, all right, the next segment is called New Phone Who This? New Phone Who This? New Phone Who This? New Phone Who This? So, in New Phone Who This, I'm going to give you 10 rapid fire questions, and we always keep it 100 on this show. So, all you have to do is answer, all right? You got it. All right, cool. Um, first question Favorite city, Atlanta, Las Vegas? Los Angeles, Miami, or New York City? Los Angeles, where I'm born and raised. Okay, then. Number two, one of my favorite questions. I'm paying attention closely. Yep. Favorite pie? Is it pumpkin, Dutch apple, chocolate, or sweet potato? I right. And more specifically, my mom's sweet potato pie, yes. Hey, there we go. I, I, I was I was worried. I was just like, man, please don't let him say pumpkin. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is a new one. Let me see. What do you prefer, in-person auditions 
or self submit auditions? Or do you even have to do that? I do. Uh, I still have to do all of that. Um, you know, I'm warming up to this, uh, this, these self tapes thing. So I'm, 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 I'm okay with them. Yeah, I'm okay with them. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I, um, my wife got me an iPhone. I'm usually not an Apple person, but it has really helped with my, um, my self tapes. So nice. I can dig it. Yeah. Welcome to the dark side. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm taking the leap. This is an indie show. You have you worked on a lot of independent projects? Yeah. yeah. All right, perfect. All right. So can you name uh indie project that you were on where you were A, the writer, B, an actor, C director, and D producer? Uh, yeah, there was an independent project, a short film we did years ago. Uh, I believe it was called What, 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 what Wouldn't Jesus Do? Uh, uh, a young uh, brother named Rod Emil wrote and directed it. And we did it years ago with uh, an actor uh, that I enjoy named Harold Sylvester. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's, it might be on the IMDb page. Yeah. Right. Or What Would Jesus Do? Or What Wouldn't Jesus I forget the name of the title, but. It was it was a uh, yeah bare bones independent. What was your position? Was it a writer, actor, director, or producer? Actor. I played Jesus. Okay, then Jesus. <laughs> hey, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you I have was, any? Paul, Jesus. Jesus. You have any projects where you were the director or the producer? No, no. I got you. All right. Word on the street is that you love basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Wait, your sorry. favorite college and NBA team? Well, SC, I'm rooting for them to, to do well uh, with the basketball. They do pretty good with the football from time to time. Uh, and right now, I was just rooting for the Nets, who just got <laughs> swept. Oh. <laughs> you got a favorite basketball player? Right now, no. But my last favorite one was uh, Manu Ginobili. Okay, that's cool. And this is just bonus credit. Do you have a favorite basketball moment of all time? Oh, wow. No, no, no. All right. No. That's good. I mean, that's honest. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know yeah. I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah. All right. Here we go. This question is one has to go. All right. You got to get rid of one of them. Okay. A, Oscars. B, Emmy. C, Golden Globes. Or D, the Tony. Well, since the Oscars have recently become really violent place, I'm going to say let's get rid of that. <laughs> but, I used to feel safe in those areas, but now, you know, I'm going to say stay, stay clear of the Oscars. Yeah, my gonna be oh, man. Yo, yo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you might be um, about the wrong goddess, yo. You're going to get a slap to the ear. So I'm going <laughs> to. Uh, my man Jay Kill said, Nets and SC. Dude must love to be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, for oh. real. Yeah, Jay Kells is, is foolish, so he's going to be saying some crazy stuff throughout the show. All right. Most important question, number eight. How do you like your grits? A, salt and pepper. B, cheese. C, sugar. Or D, butter. I don't know why this man is looking at me because he said sugar last week. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying attention. I'm not even gonna look at it. What say Yo, you, James? Can I, I can I get my uh, can I put some butter and cheese in that, Mama? Can I do both? Maybe okay, I, I'll take that. Cheese I'll take butter. that. Cheese and yeah. butter. And right, growing work. Work. And yes, you can. Yeah, see, it was secretly a test to see if you mess around and put sugar in your grits. You know, look, man, we're not gonna have this conversation again. It's okay, we're not putting no, no. When, when, uh, We grew up putting jelly in our grits. Out here. What? Jelly, grape jelly. See what I'm saying? That's sugar, sugar substitute. What? That's a sugar substitute. Yeah, sugar substitute. That's a sugar substitute. I understand, <laughs> but it's great. Right. Wait, what? Grape okay, jelly is not a sugar substitute. Now. What color jelly? Apple grape. grape? Great, yeah. Man, so you had purple you grits. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Cream Prince wings. grits in the morning. I don't eat no cream of wings. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me if I eat cream of wings. What do I like eating cream of wings? You from Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> cream of wings. 
nobody got yeah. no problem eating cream of wheat. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar is the devil's dandruff. Stay woke. Stay That's woke. real. <laughs> yeah, this uh, dude is a nut. Uh, yeah, I am. All right. Uh, uh, number nine, you're hosting a game night party at your place, all right? What we two do. games are we definitely playing? Taboo and Pictionary. Taboo and Pictionary? We do that on a regular here, yep. My man. My man. I said, you know what? If I was, we're not playing taboo in mastermind games, but I got something for you. All right. Cool. Last weekend we just played spades, but that's rare over here. But mostly it's taboo and um, pictionary. Yeah, I love oh, me some pictionary. I, I love play spades and taboo, but taboo has been the number one question so far. Has been the number one answer when we talk about games. Yeah. But y'all, he right. says spades, bro. He plays spades. <laughs> Yeah, okay, he, he, he a real nigga, man. Only real niggas play spades, man. <laughs> real nigga, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out. Everybody likes spades. Yeah. 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 Okay, number ten. I think I skipped one. Uh, Hollywood just greenlit the James LeSure movie. What actor plays you, and who do you want to direct it? Oh, wow, man. Uh, I asked the question. This, since I'm always getting mistaken for him, maybe Don, uh, uh, Donald Faison can play the lead. Oh, and, um, <laughs> not me. Let me you see. Know what? Yeah, it always comes up to me. So, aren't you the guy not from me? Scrubs? Oh, I'm sorry. And, and, uh, he no. <laughs> he's got to direct it. You have to stand in, brother. <laughs> I gotta double down on the stand in, man. <laughs> stand in for him, man. Two feelings just came out. That's, that's, that's two paychecks, player. Take that. Take that. You, be the lead you, better, stand you, better, in, you better sit in your self tape. <laughs> gotta get the iPhone. <laughs> okay, and the part, second part of the question um, uh, Who would I get to direct it? Yeah. Uh, Rick Mamuyua. Oh, yeah, yeah, he okay, was the director then. of the wood and uh, other things. He's uh, he's also an SC alum and, and, a, and a righteous king. Okay, then I see you. All right, that, that was a good one. Yeah, I like him. All right, so um, oh man, so last question Do you say biopic or biopic? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good uh, question. I say biopic. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Well, say biopic. The people out here in these streets say biopic. That sound like some glasses or something. <laughs> some glasses. Oh, I'm oh, going to oh, wear my biopics. Oh, oh. <laughs> right, right. A Can superpower for villains. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. All right, I'm going to give you this oh, bonus shit. question real quick. Um, the NFL draft is coming up this week. If you could draft any player from the past 20 years for an all-star team, who would your first draft pick be? Ah, uh, you know, uh, can I go early? Can I go Pittsburgh Steeler, Le'Veon Bell? Le'Veon Bell. When he was, when he was, right. happy, in, when he was happy in the Steeler uniform. The last 20 years? Yeah, the last 20 years. We got Le'Veon Bell been picked. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Oh. That's hard. Okay. I got you, that's dang. Yeah, okay. Can't knock him, brother. Yeah, I feel you. I, I was thinking, I think I might do uh Michael Vick. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully he don't yeah, hopefully he don't mess around with the dogs. Look, I'm gonna get them running yards either way, so it's all good. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Joe, my man Heath, you got I gotta go with Barry Sanders. I hate he cut his career short because he couldn't get out of this. Barry Sanders. I'll let you have Barry Sanders. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Here, you into football? Nope. Only when the Niners you. play. So what? Only when the Niners play. Oh Lord, there she go. She's like, I'm stuck in a man cave right now. What's up? You know, <laughs> let me out of this bang, man bang, cave. Bang, bang, <laughs> it's bang bang Niner game. Uh, and this is in the chat room. She said Jerry Rice is her first pick. Okay, I see you. Uh, JS1, you into football? You got a pick? Uh, no, nah, unfortunately, no, sir. It's all good, ladies and gentlemen. My man James, he has 
successfully pass new phone. Who it is? Who it is? All right, James. This next segment, um, we're going to listen or view some music videos. We're going to critique the uh, videos. We're going to give okay. us our honest opinion. And because what happens if an artist wins three episodes in a row, they win an opportunity to be on the show. They'll have their very own show based around them. And one of my artists has won two in a row. Tonight is a big night for this artist. Okay. So, JS1, let's go ahead and get it started. Play my intro. Court is now in session. This is will be the judge of that. And I want to save our champion for a last. Our champion is, uh, well, I should say our winner, is Kiana Jordan. So if she wins tonight, she's going to be on the show. So voting is very important. But first, we have a two new artists, one from Atlanta, but I think he's from Baltimore. But we're going to start with the Baltimore people. So JS1, who's our first artist that's from Baltimore? Our uh, first contestant today, name is Benny Harden, and their new and their single is called Ride. And let me get started on that joint. Let me get it up on the screen so y'all can see it. Then I can press play and let's do what we're supposed to do. Uh, everybody's on mute. Y'all can unmute yourselves. Not me. 
There we go. Hello, and then there you go. Now he's there. There we go. Jay Kills is out of the gate first. He said, I'm feeling this. I'm going to go with our guest of honor, James. What do you think about that? Uh, I lost 89% of it because the audio was blocked, but the part I did here, I enjoyed because I like to ride a bicycle by the beach, and I feel like, yeah, I can ride to this song while I'm peddling. <laughs> keep it. All right. the, heater. the heater what's happening what you Man, got I, I was feeling it right out the way I, I i immediately reached for the speaker on my computer hoping i could pump the bass a little louder uh i was so glad to hear she wasn't a gold digger she didn't care about what you could buy her you know so it was about time <laughs> for a non-gold digging song so she she's revolutionary <laughs> at this point <laughs> okay all right <laughs> uh kia renee what you got to say oh i loved it the, the video was really cute i like her style her style was really nice um you know she didn't go overly sexualized or anything she was fully covered and it, it um she was real cute in her video. And um, something that a lot of a lot of uh, these young artists are doing now are they, they're taking not even samples. It's almost like the whole song. But she tastefully uh, sang a little bit of Rick James, Mary Jane. And I love that. That was that was real nice how she slid that in there. So it was still familiar to the brain. She didn't do too much. She kept it real smooth. I loved it. Yeah. All right. A little J-Lo in there, too, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> a little J-Lo beat in there somewhere, too, I heard. Rick Hale said she doesn't need him to buy her things. My type. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wifey is in the building. What's happening? Diva says, I like the song, but I would have loved to hear more lyrics. Yeah, I feel you because it seems like it was a lot of chorus going on, but that <laughs> that song was vibe. You know, it was just like you know, you just you just ride to it. JS, what you got? Uh, I think she's dope. You know what I'm saying? Definitely uh, represents the town, hometown, really well. And everything y'all saying, I 100% agree. You know what I'm saying? From the style to the presentation, the way the video was shot, super dope, super dope. Yeah, yeah, our, 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 our current winner has a challenger with that one because her whole presentation was really nice. So mm -hmm. that was, it was Remy, right? Uh, Benny Harding. Benny Harding, all right, I got you. All, mm -hmm. right, all right, remember that name. All right, now this next guy, he has been on the original version of the indie show. We go, we go back, used to support the TakeOver Countdown back in the day. Ladies and gentlemen, if I'm not mistaken, he is from Baltimore, but currently lives in Atlanta doing music and still, you know, getting, trying to get his act on. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Al Wee. <laughs> I 
Uh, it says brand new. That was brand new. So, Kia, I'm yeah. gonna start with you. Uh, while you get your, your thoughts together, uh, J. Gale said this shot with an iPhone 8 or something. Right, <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> you're special. Uh, but yeah, go. Let's go. Okay, so for the first half, I was squinting because the video was so tiny, I couldn't hear the song because the video, I was squinting too hard. So I was focused on that, so I can't critique the video or, you know, say I like it or anything because I couldn't see it. But uh, the song reminds me of, like, the Carl Thomas, Dave Hollister yes. era. Um, and it was kind of nostalgic for me. So uh, that portion of it, I appreciate it. Um, the vocals were a little questionable in some areas, but the engineer was working with me. Yeah, I, I, I hear you. The engineer was working. The engineer was the engineer was definitely working with him. Um, but I do like his style. I, I like it, and I want him to keep going. I definitely do. I got you. JS. Sir. Did, did the video come on the thumb drive? I mean, was it? Sir, we were sent a link, sir, to a YouTube channel. And, and that's I. How shows, that's how it shows up on the YouTube. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Let me see. Oh, the comments, they are coming. All right. So I see googly eyes from Jay Kells. I have to say dot dot dot. Um, I'm sure he is a good actor. I'm done. I'm I'm done. Uh, and the demon says nostalgic is a good word. Let's go. All right, uh, Heath. Uh, I, I got that kind of, uh, I was like Dwele and uh, Rashawn Patterson kind of vibe hey. to it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, James has uh, reached out to me. I'll tell you what that said. Uh, but yeah, I got I got a good vibe from it. It was it was uh, smooth. It was it was different. It, like you said, that throwback kind of always makes you vibe to something that when the throwback was a good throwback. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it was fun. It was cool. I like the music and everything. All right. So, uh, if that is all, I was thinking retro, says the diva. All right, we got one more. We got one more to go. It's our, it's our, our current champion. If she wins, 
she is getting her own show. Uh, she is getting her own show, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Kia Renee brought her to my attention. I'm almost certain this is Kiana Jordan. We'll pull up. What's up, too tall? I'm trying to get in. It's 1436, right, player? Hold on. Okay. Where you going? Let me step back. Hey, look, I'm true to the list. I'm, hey, I'm deck down from head to toe, player. You got to let me in. Let me in. See the I'm going to let you on the sidewalk. Hey, man, play too tall. What you watching the top of the building? What you got going on? Little dude. Come on, <laughs> man. That way. Okay, that's how we going to do too tall. You need to be in the NBA. That's yeah. You need to be doing security. And you need to be on the you sidewalk. The skyline? Let me go out of here. You Folks. This is it. You heard the three artists. Is it going to be? I say the name one more time, your homegirl. Penny Harding. All right. Is it going to be Al Wee? Al Wee. Or is it going to be <laughs> Kiana Jordan? But while y'all thinking about that, I got the shout out. My uh, big homie, Demario Jones, is in the building. What's up? He said, um, what's that? That Patsy Cafe vibe. That's for that, um, for that Al we song. What's up, Demario? Thank you so much for tuning in. Keep doing big things out there in the industry, sir. I appreciate you. All right. So it's time to vote. Um, what you need to do, if you can see the link right now, go to that link and vote for the people. It's going to get to a point to where you can go to our website, which is the indieshow.co to vote. But right now, you can go to our YouTube page. So if you're already on YouTube, go to our community section and vote. The voting is going to stop when the, uh, oh, we're going to run it till 10 o'clock. All right, because I'm, I'm feeling some kind of way today. All right. So 10 o'clock, you guys can vote, vote, vote. And the winner is going to, um, Either come back next week 
or Kiana is going to have her very own show. One or the other. What's going to happen? Who are you voting for? Go ahead and make it happen right now. Let me see. Jay Kills says, Kia was growing like she was about to pull up on somebody today. Oh, Kia was grooving like she was about to pull up on somebody today. And and Candice really liked the first artist. The first artist. Uh, all right, I got you on that one. That's what's up. Let me see here. So let's get our vote on. All right. So with that said, I need y'all to vote. Now, this is a first for the indie show. You know, I'm back here making things happen and trying to be smooth about it. Okay. Our guest is um, having technical difficulties. The, you, you notice how the, the out, iPad was tripping that West Coast internet, right? <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to my man, uh, James. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get him on the uh, mastermind line. But as of right now, we lost James right before the one-on-one -on -one interview and the mastermind games that I had set up. Oh, it was wonderful. I loved it. So this is just me stalling just to see if it can get him to call on the mastermind phone line. But while we're stalling, I just need you guys to make sure you vote. Tell all your family and friends to vote. It's not over. It's because we still got parts of the show. All right. While I can, I'm going to go ahead and introduce once again, my homie RJ. <laughs> RJ is is uh, back. I, what I wanted to do, this is the segment. This is the uh, spotlight segment. It's called a unique <clears throat> POV with RJ. So RJ, mm -hmm. take a few minutes to uh, drop this week's gems on them, all right? Mm -hmm. This is something new to me, everybody. Um, but I've been sitting back looking at one one thing I kind of kind of highlighted with me today was a quote that I saw, and it says, um, "The same boiling water that hardens potatoes that softens eggs. It's not about your circumstances; it's really about what you're made of, right?" <clears throat> so I say that to elaborate on what I said last week. Sometimes you got to go through stuff just to see how tough you really are. Nobody carries an umbrella when it's sunny outside. You understand? So I just think that, you know, with the COVID and a lot of things that everybody's been going through, it's been a lot of pressure out here on families, relationships, and different things like that. But I think if you always look for the positive, even in the most negative things, that law of attraction will kick in, man, and you'll find a way to make it happen. Um, other than that, that was just something that was heavy on my mind because a lot of people are asking, how'd you make it through when you went through so much or you went through certain things? And I think about not just myself, I'm empathetic to everybody to where, you know, circumstances and, and, and going through turmoil or going through situations or hard times makes you hard. It gives you resilience. So I welcome negative pressure sometimes because it just lets me know what I'm made of. You know, I'm not that I'm not that potato. I'm not getting soft. You understand? So I hope everybody can take a little bit of that and um, try to utilize that in your day. And um, just keep a positive impact because this world we're living in right now could create a lot of negative energy. And that's not what we're about. But that's all I have for today. My man. Yes, sir. Mm, that's Blessings. What that's what I'm talking about. Yo, that was, that was so, can y'all hear me? Yes, yeah. Can y'all hear me? Yes, yes. That was great. I, I really love that. I appreciate that. Um, it makes me think about this hat that I have on, and I don't know if y'all can see what's going on here. No. This says sick. No. Y'all can't see it? Okay. Uh -uh. Well, it's S it's Y C K. It's mm -hmm. sick clothing. Um, I got this hat from Alexandria Valentine out in Inglewood. Shout out to her. Um, this is for everyone that has sickle cell. So yes. she took, you know, her condition 
she turned it into a clothing line and you know what i'm saying she, she turned her whole situation around like that so uh <laughs> shout out to alexandria valentine out in Inglewood with sick clothing keep doing yeah. your thing and shout out to the sickle cell community my heart is always with y'all please keep pushing absolutely now, that See how you turn good. that negative into a positive? Mm -hmm. It's your sir. Right. It's what you're made it's out right. of, man. Not your circumstances. That's it. That's I that. love that. That's dope. That hat is dope. That's a, that's that's everything I said and then some. That's dope. I like that. I love that energy. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, before we get out of here, uh, let's go ahead. So this way is the internet. Um, Y'all probably already know about this chick um my wife was on the internet and came across this young lady goes by the name of jade nova <laughs> so if y'all know about jade nova she is a singer and i want to say comedian but she does these skits she can do voices her cardi b is hilarious to me and so she did the skits with beyonce uh beyonce cardi b kim kardashian and um uh, and Nicki minaj yeah so they were sitting around the table talking there's a new one that takes place during covid and so i think that's the one we have this is part one this is jay nova in atlanta she was doing radio for a while she was with uh b103 I was putting two and two together when I said the name out loud. I was like, wait a minute, wasn't she on the radio? So I like this chick. I want to see if I can get her on the show. That would be a great get as a guest. Anyway, so this was the internet. This is uh, Jay Nova. That's hey, ladies. Guess. Y'all want to play Clue or Sorry? What about Monopoly? Clue it is. I'll be right back, ladies. Don't you move a muscle. <laughs> I'm so glad you suggested we do this raw vegan challenge, B. I enjoy eating my husband's ass raw, so I knew this could be interesting. <laughs> Ew. Why are you sneaking up on me in the kitchen, Kim? You should be in the dining room with the rest of them. Oh, shit. Sorry. Cardi, did you leave the house even though we all made an agreement not to leave? Why you say that, Beyonce? Because how you get your nails done during quarantine? Oh, these... I don't, I don't know what you mean. I, I did these myself. Why y'all so pressed? Why we so pressed? Yeah, those still look fresh. Get, 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 get left the house. Got your nails done, bitch. Those ain't pressed ones. I, I, I can tell, son. Really, Cardi? You could get us all sick. Uh, Cardi, tell the truth. Did you leave? Yo, she's crazy. Yeah, she's crazy. She's good with it. She's nice with it. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. yeah, nice with it. So there, it's a four-part series, so y'all be on the lookout for that. Let me see what they're saying in the chat rooms. Uh, let me see. This dude is crazy. He has some impeccable pottery. He already <laughs> all in your room. Let me see. <laughs> And I dated a woman with three personalities like this. I can relate. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all. So part of the show, we do the last word. I'm going to go around. Everybody kick your shouts. Uh, I'm going to go first because... So much for falling through. If you ever get some time want to come back so we can do the uh, just focus on the internet I mean the, on the interview probably in mastermind games I got you but take care do your thing we really appreciate you also want to shout out to everybody that is that's watching tune in especially Demario um, um, Candice thank you uh, as the diva I appreciate it and you know my doggone platinum viewers Jay Kells and he and my guest, Heath in the building, my homie making it happen. It's RJ, uh, Kia, Renee, and JS1. I love y'all. So, uh, Kia, kick your shot. Okay. Uh, thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. I appreciate that. Um, shout out to my mom for always holding it down. 
And, and shout out to everybody on the Soul Music Vineyard Project. Uh, Samuel Archer, you're definitely doing your thing. And go get his book, Hybrid Executive. Hey, shout outs. I like it. Uh, uh, my man Heath, what you got? Uh, I just want to give a shout out, first of all, to uh, James for coming on board. And uh, sorry, he had the technical difficulties. Shout out to all of you guys. Shout out to Wifey for letting me come on here and do my thing in the middle of rush hour in our house. So, uh, hey, RC, what's baby. happening? <laughs> she just stepped out for a few minutes, but but she sends her love you, you guys' way. And just thank you for allowing me to come on this show. It's just because I don't get to do stand up just yet due to COVID. It's nice to just come on here and just have some fun and laugh and and hang out with my peeps, you know. So I appreciate the love every time you come on. So looking forward to doing more. RJ, what you got? Hey, man, I'd just like to say thank you to everybody on this show, man. Y'all cool crew. I kind of like this. Nice perspectives, nice engaging fellowship. Meeting all the new people, everybody that came on, I think I'm, I think I'm liking this, man. This wow, is man. okay. This <laughs> is okay. While I got you, uh, you had uh, today is your fifth anniversary, yes, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Congratulations, Thank happy you. anniversary, you happy unique. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. How did the event go this evening? Oh, it was dope. Uh, Sunday we had a block party outside, so we had the um, we had the bounce houses outside. Uh, game trucks, live music, food, vendors. It was a nice collective, a nice uh, a re a, a reciprocated event for everybody to mm -hmm. kind of get exposure out here. Yeah. Just off of the base. We just thank everybody that's came out and that supported us for these last five years. Um, and we just pray and hope for many more years of success. Definitely. That's what's up, Jay. JS Warren. I feel bad because look, my wife, she is, uh, she's tuning in, she's watching. She hit me up Sunday. She's like, I want some barbecue. And so we was just like, bet, let's buy some barbecue. Mm -hmm. If I would have made a right, I would have seen, oh, the thing is going, look. Right? Yeah. It's always something. Right? We we made a left. <laughs> this is my man right here, though. You know. Look, how you gonna put me on the spot? I'm trying. I'm look. I'm putting myself out there and be like, man. It hit me. I was just like, oh snap! I missed the event. <laughs> so I was just like, oh man. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to see this dude on Tuesday. And it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. You get a pass, man. Right. This makes up for it. For sure. For sure. Yes, Every year y'all put it on. Yeah, it'd be man. it'd be nice. So I'm I'm mad I missed the game trucks in the free. Nah, you good, man. We're gonna do it again. For sure. Real quick. Uh shout out to Candice. She said, Congrats. Entrepreneurship is a journey. Love it. That's my girl. Thank you. All right, JS1, what you got? Shout out to everybody, man. Show jumping, man. You know what we doing over here, man. man. Make sure y'all tune in, man. Get man, keep it popping, man. Jumping. I'm on vacation. I holler y'all when I get back, man. That's right, yo. I got my uh, my homie. Oh, dude, from Alice, Aliceville, Alabama. My homie is um, 13th from the Bread Hunters. It's Tony Wilder. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be country. So let's have ourselves a good one. Play by outro. Y'all have a great day and tell everybody, tell everybody, tell everybody to share this. And that way they can see James sideways <laughs> in the corner like this. But he answered my questions. So at least y'all got that. All right. I appreciate it. Full episode next week. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. Hey, yo. Yo. That's all, man. The ND show when deep, the flow sickening. Masterminded by mastermind, the plot dickens. Good riddance to other pies, the eyes against them. Tuesday at 8 p.m., we back in business. Key is in the building, Jay is in the building. Giving the feeling that most of y'all been missing. All things ND is it banging or whack. Can't call it, but we'll be the judge of that. And logic came through with the verbal assist. Majorly, we envy, ain't no canceling this. And logic came through with the verbal assist. Majorly, we envy, ain't no canceling this. And I'm gone. And I'm gone. And